Hey, what's up, family? My name is Rodney Douglas. I serve here at Hope City, and I am extremely excited about all that God is actively doing in your life, in my life, during these 21 days of fasting and prayer. Today, I want to encourage you all to take on the heart of God and to be more like Jesus. I love reading the Gospels because they literally tell the story of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and how he exemplified pure, true love. I'm reminded of a story in the Bible about the woman with the issue of blood. Luke 8 and 43 through 48 reads, Now a woman having a flow of blood for 12 years who had spent all her livelihood on physicians could not be healed by any came from behind and touched the hem of his garment, and immediately her flow of blood stopped. And Jesus said, Who touched me? When all denied it, Peter and those with him, Master, the multitudes throng and press you, and you say, Who touched me? But Jesus said, Somebody touched me, for I perceived power going out from me. Now when the woman saw that she was not hidden, she came trembling and falling down before him. She declared to him in the presence of all the people the reason she had touched him and how she was healed immediately. Verse 48 says, And he said to her, Daughter, be of good cheer. Your faith has made you well. Go in peace. In this passage, we get to take a glimpse at the true heart of God. The woman who was in desperate need of healing, she was cast out. She had no one to love or support her because she was deemed unclean. Yet when God noticed that she touched the hem of his garment, he turned around and he blessed her. We as believers should take on the same character to see everyone how God sees them. Take a moment and reflect and think on how you can bless someone who may be cast down, forgotten, unwanted, or even lonely. The next time you see a beggar on the street, consider getting them some food or maybe even pay it forward at a restaurant. We may be the only Jesus someone gets to experience. So let's take on the same heart of compassion that Jesus had with the woman with the issue of blood and let's love like never before. Let me pray a prayer over you. Father, we thank you so much that you've called us higher. We thank you for your heart. We thank you for being the ultimate example of how we should live. Lord, in every place that we go, we pray that you would continue to give us opportunities to show the love of Jesus. Give us opportunities to share the good news that you died on the cross and that you rose again for our sins, for the world. Father, help us to be shining lights. We want to be shining lights in the earth, Father. And I pray for a spirit of just courage. Word our mouths, Father, so that we won't be ashamed, but we will stand boldly and we will declare your goodness everywhere that we go. Father, let us not take it for granted the small opportunities you give us to bless others. When we're going down the street, when we see someone in need, when we um, hear some things going on in people's lives, help us to have a heart of compassion. Help us to give more. Help us to sow more. Help us to love more. Father, we want your heart. We want to see people how you see them, despite what they've done, despite what they're walking through, despite the decisions they made. Father, help us to see the God in them. God, we just say thank you for what you're doing in this season. As we're fasting and as we're praying, we ask that you would burn away whatever is not like you. We want to be more like you. Have your way in our lives. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Love you all so much. Be blessed.